back to the Outdoor Realm YouTube channel. Uh, Clark, Lana, and I are going on a canoe camping trip. This is actually the exact same spot that we went to last October, so we're pretty excited about this, and we're going to be here for two nights. You guys excited? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Lana's never done a canoe camping trip before, and last year was Clark's and my first, and we loved it, so we're going to be doing some more of these for sure. But uh, we got to get the canoe off the truck, get it loaded up, and head out. made it to camp and the first order of business is to get our shelter up and ready it is supposed to rain tonight into tomorrow last I checked so definitely gonna want to tarp up too so last time we had our tent right over here in this tent pad which isn't a bad spot but I think we might put our tent right here in this spot possibly so we can kind of overlook the lake at night wake up in the morning and just that'd be the first thing you see I think it'd be kind of cool kind of show you an idea of what I'm talking about here I think we're gonna do that mm -hmm. this is my foggy he's, he's so he's so cute I found him in his sand Sticks.
pretty much set up. After I had the tent set up, I was thinking it probably isn't a good idea to put a tent this close to the space where we're planning on eating. Uh, so we're going to have to be careful not to be dropping food and stuff. But there are a lot of people that come out here pretty much every week and this place is booked. So hopefully the people activity keeps the animals away. But I should have thought that through a little bit better. But I'm not picking it all up and moving it. But uh, this time we got <clears throat> our tarp up. So we got a dry spot for the morning. We're gonna, if it's raining pretty good, we can just cook on the stove uh, right on the table underneath the tarp. And right now we're going to go find some firewood. But this place has been pretty much cleaned out. So, and the forest floor is completely picked up. So, we're going to jump in the canoe, uh, probably head over to one of the portages and see what we can find off the trail. I'm thinking there should be a lot more firewood available over there. So we just grabbed a bunch of firewood, uh, went over to one of the portages, and there's just firewood all over the place. Looks like it never been touched, so that worked out pretty well. But we're just heading back to camp now, and we're going to get the fire going and get dinner started. Got macaroni and cheese tonight. So I like to use different methods in certain fires, but I've found that by far my favorite way is using just an old-fashioned flint and steel. It's a lot of fun and I find it's very appropriate for the setting. So that's what I'm going to be using tonight to start the fire. Also got this cotton ball filled with Vaseline, which works really well. Vaseline burns really good. using these tiny little pine branches the really little ones that grow the needles on them because they burn really quick and they're usually pretty dry especially if they're still on the tree and they're dead and you just break them off so we'll let that burn nice and hot get some of them big logs caught fire and we should be good to go for tonight. Now we can have dinner. We gotta cook it now. Tonight we're doing, well I guess it's not macaroni, it's shells and cheese. We're coloring on the ground. 
we we forgot to bring the paper and, and I was like what would you do without anything to do and I've done this before when I was bored you could color on the ground and if you're bored at, at the campsite just sitting by the fire you could do something if you're bored color on the ground I'm drawing I'm drawing a crush I'm drawing something like cross in front and down. So this thing is called a kitchen sink. It uh, actually like folds up and fits into this little package here. But it's just a little cloth bag. You can put water in it, do dishes, take a bath, do whatever. Um, this is my first time using it and it's going to be a huge help. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to show you that. But this one's made by Sea to Summit, and seems like a pretty handy little tool. But uh, I'm gonna just do dishes quick. That's pretty much gonna be it for tonight. I have a little bit of work to do yet, but we're pretty much gonna call it a night here, and we'll see you in the morning. Well, it's still raining, and it's supposed to rain until about 10 o'clock from what I saw yesterday, so we're just going to hang out in the tent and wait for the rain to clear up a little bit. finally stopped. It's I think a little after 11 right now. We're going to kind of do some exploring, paddle around these lakes, gather some firewood on our way back, and really like to get some video of some loons. They've been flying around from lake to lake this morning making a bunch of ruckus.
just got back to camp, got some firewood, and uh, it's almost one o'clock, so it's a little past lunch. But uh, on this trip, we brought some bread, some camp bread. This is actually a recipe we got from the YouTube channel Outdoor Boys. My kids love that channel, so I cannot claim this recipe as my own. But uh, I think the guy's name is Luke. He makes this stuff all the time, and it looks like it'd be pretty good. So we're gonna try it. But we got some. I think the recipe is just flour, um, salt, sugar, and we just gotta add this act of dry yeast. Gonna add that quick, and then a cup of water, and we're gonna let it sit for about an hour. Let the yeast do its thing. One cup of water. I'm just gonna mix it up real good and then just let it sit. And while this is sitting, I'm gonna get the fire going and we're gonna have some hash for lunch today. One of my favorites. Sticks to start in fire. Uh, you know, that didn't work. Time to do it the old fashioned way. And by the old fashioned way, I mean not the old fashioned way. The wood's wet, doesn't want to start. Why we bring backups. Ah, secret stuff. Did you know where I'm standing? I can't have on that log or this log. How's that camp bread? Good. Camp's all cleaned up, and what time is it? Three o'clock. I'm ready to lay down and take a nap, but we've got, uh, we're gonna need another fire tonight, so we're gonna need some more firewood. So we're gonna go find some more firewood. We're also gonna explore in the lake north of here. We haven't been on that one before. Um, so I wanna go check out that campground and kind of paddle around. And we'll grab some more firewood on the way back, come back and make dinner, and just kind of hang out for the evening.
way back to the campsite right now. We're going to pick up some firewood on the way back. So we will see you at camp. Careful with the that. fire pit. Fire. You don't even need matches. Oh, that feels so much better. Dry shoes. Mom, what are you doing? Tonight we're making dehydrated chili mac. Last time we made our own dehydrated meals, dehydrated meals, and this time we just decided to get some from the store. So we're gonna see how this goes. All right, dinner served, guys. Thank you. Mm. You're welcome. That, looks, that actually that looks through. delicious. Okay. Thank you, Dad. I ate like almost four, four bowls, now I eat dad's. This is delicious. Of course I like it, but it's real spicy, but I do like it. Dad, I even love it when it's on the sauce, too. Mm -hmm. Well, we pretty much got everything put away for the night, so we're just going to hang out by the fire until we're out of firewood, and we're going to head to bed. And we're uh, packing up and leaving in the morning, so we will see you in the morning.
hate to say it, guys, but that's gonna do it for this trip. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I really wanted to get out and get Clark and Lana on a wilderness type canoe trip, and it worked out this weekend. They go back to school either next week or the week after. If you're interested in any of the gear that we use, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of links uh, in the description. You can check those out, and we're gonna get loaded up here. Did you guys have fun? Yep. Yep. Yeah? You want to do it again someday? Mm -hmm. I want to put this frog tree in the water. Okay, you go put the frog tree in the water. We're gonna go. Thanks for watching guys. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button. We got uh, a few more trips like this coming up just this year. So, we're gonna hit the water and head home. See you guys in the next one.